Hello, trading is closed on Christmas Eve. I'm Jeff Tennant. Happy holidays to everyone. Let's change our usual order of doing things and look at today's action first. We had a gap up in the morning. Prices were going up, but MJT said ultimately lower prices would print and gave this line as a target. We continue to rally at a new all-time high but right at the end we dropped and the target printed so that worked now let's look at the longer term picture as you know I've been looking for a top in this area this doesn't look like much happened today we had low volume we closed essentially unchanged but I think quite a few interesting things happened. one is we hit more new highs but couldn't hold on to any of them. I don't like it when we hit a new all-time high and we close negative on the day even if it's negative by only a small amount. And I don't like it when we hit a series of new highs, can't hold them, and now can't even hold on to the lows. The timing of the drop makes it somewhat suspect but that new high also gave us bar 13 on a 65 minute chart of Tom DeMarc's combo sell signal I think this is very negative action it could all be reversed early Friday if we gap up and I admit I still don't have any money on the prediction I kind of wish I did. Unless we gap up, this is very negative action, and I'm still looking for a major top in this area. What makes the call significant is that the week between Christmas and New Year's is one of the most consistently positive weeks of the year. The reason is pretty clear. People are reluctant to sell because it messes up their income tax planning. They prefer to wait a week until January and not have to pay taxes on the gain. So with sellers typically drying up, a reversal in this time frame is completely, I shouldn't say completely, is even more strongly negative than it would be at any other time of the year. If we can't rally next week, and I don't think that's going to happen, if we don't rally next week, even when the sellers are diminished in quantity, it could have very ominous implications for 2015. And that's today's call.